Well, it has been challenging for kids who can't go to school or see their friends. Now a group of local women is coming together to give them something to smile about. Lisa Greshi is live now with their story, Lisa. Kate, the goal here is to help get these kids involved in both a creative and active way, and it has them running from one door to the next. It's the kind of ding-dong ditch the neighbors won't be mad at you for. The smiles on their face are just amazing. Because this is what happens next. Holy moly. They were so excited. <laughs> it was like Christmas all over again, just from a simple gesture. Four women, three of them mothers, the other a kindergarten teacher, came together to create smiles for miles. I'm a nurse. I work in the emergency room, so I see, like, the struggle and how scared everybody is. Struggling more than they can express. The kids right now are going through it the most. It all starts with an invite to a private Facebook group where families can safely share addresses. And as your kids prepare a gift, anything from toys and coloring books to chalk and bubbles, others are doing the same for them. Then, with a special message included, comes the anonymous drop-off. I've never seen anything like it. And judging by the looks on these faces, <laughs> this is taking off with a valuable lesson to be learned along the way. Thank you. I want to teach them to be kind and caring, and then this is happening. So it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually doing something good in the world. Now, so far, the private group has nearly 400 members between Bill Ricca, Wilmington, and Tewksbury. And the hope is, as organizers call it, that more towns will, quote, get smiled. Kate?